Welcome to the Speed Test Custom video tutorial series. In this video, we'll learn how to use C custom CSS to control the look of your test interface. To begin, go to account.speedtestcustom.com slash login and enter the email address and password for your account. After login, go to the configuration section and click on the interface tab. You may need to scroll down to see the custom CSS section. This is the text box where you will enter your CSS code. Before you begin writing your code, we recommend that you learn about the stylistic properties that can be modified and how to make these modifications by reviewing the best practices for configuring custom CSS support article on support.ookla.com. We recommend that you only modify stylistic properties like colors and fonts. Much of the layout and the gauge animations are dependent on other styles throughout the app. Well, the custom CSS editor will allow you to do quite a bit, modifying anything other than the stylistic properties may result in the tests not performing as expected. It's also good practice to make changes one at a time and use the preview CSS button to view your changes before you save and publish your test. Some changes, however, may only be viewable in the published test or while the test is running. If you don't see your change in the preview, you may need to click Save and Publish, then View Live Test in order to validate your changes. Now, let's walk through some example CSS changes. Let's say you don't want your users to share test results, so you'd like to hide the share buttons. Go to the Results view and enter the following string in the text box dot share underscore underscore links space bracket display colon space non semicolon and bracket. Click on preview CSS. The share links are no longer displayed on your test. Next, let's change the color of the gauge needle. Go to the testing view. Enter the following text. Dot gauge dash needle space bracket color colon pound and the hexadecimal color you'd like semicolon and bracket. Click on the preview CSS button. You can see that the color of the needle was updated. Finally, let's make the background of the test white, but only after the user starts the test. To do so, you'll need to update both the background color of the test and the gauge. Enter the following text string. Dot test dash dash in dash progress space bracket background colon white semicolon and bracket. Now hit enter, then hit enter dot gauge space bracket background colon white semicolon and bracket. Then click on the preview CSS button. Click through the various views to see how your test has changed. Now that you've customized your test, Click the Save and Publish button to publish your test. And then the View Live Test button to view your test in action. This completes the custom CSS overview. We hope this video has helped you understand how to use custom CSS to, to design your speed test custom test. More detailed information about designing your test is available on our website. Go to ookla.com, click on the support link, and select Speed Test Custom to find specific help content.